Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Uncomplicated by Freshworks, where we answer one question every day with one expert. Today's expert is Scarlett from SDI, who's going to answer a pretty interesting question. But before we get into the question, hey Scarlett, welcome to Uncomplicated. That's great, thank you for having me. Awesome. So today's question, right? Uh, so before we jump into the question, so Scarlett has an alternate view to how we see service level agreements or rather SLAs. It's a pretty popular term in, you know, customer support, ITSM, or, you know, if you're anywhere supporting your customers. So uh, she has a, you know, a term called XLAs, uh, experience level agreement. So what is it Scarlett and why should organizations even care? So before we get into XLAs, what they are, what they do, we first need to look at customer experience and the impact that we're seeing around that within the industry. Mm -hmm. So across several SDI reports, there's a noticeable focus on customer experience, and that's only growing as more and more service desks understand the need to be more customer centric. Mm -hmm. But despite this growing importance, many service desks are still struggling with monitoring and improving their CX, or they're mm -hmm. not sure where to start. So let's start by exploring why. Why should service desks be focusing on CX? Mm -hmm. And there are a couple of main reasons to look at here. Firstly, mm -hmm. arguably customers aren't massively interested in whether their support team met targets to things like response time or first time fix for their ticket, which are more traditional metrics, especially mm -hmm. if their experience of the service wasn't better as a result. And that isn't to say that traditional metrics don't matter or don't have an impact on satisfaction or experience, because they definitely do. In fact, things like call wait times and resolution times are bound to have an effect. Mm -hmm. But there's more that goes into managing the customer experience than meeting targets. Mm -hmm. And speaking of targets, that leads us into the fundamental flaw that we have for setting targets for traditional measures, which mm -hmm. is something that you'd like to see in a service level agreement. Mm -hmm. And that's the target by behavior. And mm -hmm. what I mean by that is that if success is measured, measured based on how well the support team uh, performed against metric targets, mm -hmm. that might mean that to focus on um, Service desk analysts might begin to focus on those targets and avoid breaches rather than focusing on a customer. And that could mean that tickets are closed prematurely or escalated unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. So putting a CX focus on your performance measures can help to change this culture. Okay. And so finally, CX can be used as a way to demonstrate the value to the business and fostering an environment where the customer is at the center of the service. And that can ultimately lead to a more meaningful and happier customer's uh, which can lead to more motivated and efficient staff. And then that can be related to the business as an indicator of value and success. Oh. So finally, moving into XLAs or experience level agreements, I'd say that there isn't enough awareness around them, or at least people aren't really sure what they are or how they can get started. And they're similar to SLAs in that XLAs establish a typical level of service that a customer should receive. Mm -hmm. But the difference is that XLAs focus on the customer experience and how the service desk is performing in relation to what the customer, uh, customer is seeing and hearing about the service, i.e. their experience. Mm -hmm. And one of the criticisms of using CX or XLAs to monitor the success of a service is that experience is subjective, and it's not as black and white as more traditional metrics. Mm -hmm. Performance targets are important for support teams and the business to monitor performance and to identify areas for improvement. So it might seem too dangerous to monitor the service quality and efficiency solely based on a subjective metric. Mm -hmm. But an XLA can simply be made up of more CX-oriented metric targets or KPIs, like response times, first time fix, and reopens. So it's taking those traditional metrics and making them more customer-centric. And of course, CSA levels also play a massive role in XLAs, and they should really be the focal point, while also using those more traditional metrics to support this in our context. Okay, got it. So uh, if I'm getting this uh, right, so my biggest two takeaways from this was, you know, metrics, you know, quantitative metrics rather drive a wrong behavior. They don't account for the qualitative aspect of experience. And in terms of measuring, you know, the experience, it's n just not black and white. It's kind of, you know, ensuring that how happy your internal customers are. I think that way we are just blurring the lines between internal and external support, right? So th those were my two biggest takeaways. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Thank you for joining us, Scarlett. Until I see you next time, this is Praveen signing off.